What is up everyone? Welcome to a brand new review. Today I am discussing Gringo, a new dark action comedy of some sorts presented by Amazon. And yeah, this film, I honestly did not know it was real till a couple weeks ago because when I saw the trailer, I was like, this has to be like Tropic Thunder. And like, I was like, is this a trailer from the beginning of Tropic Thunder? Is Les Grossman going to walk out at the end of the movie and say, cut, awesome movie. No, but it should have done that because it probably would have made this movie 10 times better. And I mean, that I think this is probably my second or third least favorite film of this year. Um, yeah, I didn't laugh at all. It sucks to say because I went into this film wanting a couple of chuckles, wanting to just have fun. And at no point in time in this movie did I have fun at all. I actually, throughout the whole movie, I was considering on walking out. It's saying a lot because it takes a lot for me to get to that point where I'm just uninterested and not caring. Gringo has a fantastic cast going for it. I mean, you have David Oyelowo, you have Joel Egerton, you have Charlie Theron, who is probably hands down the best part of this whole film. And then you can't forget to talk about Amanda Seyfried, who was totally wasted in this film, and Charlie Copley, who should have been in the film hour earlier than he was. Because the second he comes in this film, the film at least got a little bit more interesting. And it, again, him and Charlie Theron were probably the best characters of this whole film, were the most entertaining at all. David Oyelowo, he, he's a protagonist of some sorts. But the thing about this film is that there's no fun to it because it's just depressing. Like, the film is very depressing. It's not... It says it's a dark comedy, but it really is not funny. Like, I, I, I even my theater wasn't laughing. Like, I wasn't laughing. Like, I'd smile and chuckle at some of the lines that Charlize Theron would say because she's just good at, like, giving the dialogue. But even Joel Egerton, like, I, I just hated his character. And he will say what is going for Gringo in the long run is that I do like the concept of it. I think it had a really well good concept in here to make for a fun comedy but you just you made it too depressing you threw all these subplots in here that just make you depressed the whole time you're watching the film i mean the whole time i was watching this film i was like damn this guy's life sucks and it makes you so sad point where you don't even want to finish the film and that's where i was getting to like midway through the film i was just i looked at my watch and i said damn i still probably have like 50 minutes left in this film and it just dragged. Like, I was not laughing at all. This is something that you guys should know. When I go into a comedy, if I'm laughing, I can forgive, like, every mistake. I can forgive the subplots. I can forgive the character development. I can forgive everything. But the second you don't make me laugh, I'm going to look back and be like, okay, well, how was the character development? Okay, well, how was the story? Okay, how were these subplots? Were they needed? Because I'm telling you, this film had so many things going on, so many different directions. There were multiple characters that you could have totally pulled out of the film completely and in the end of the day like i said this literally felt like a tropic thunder trailer became a movie like it literally felt like that one of those had became a movie i honestly wish Les grossman would have just walked out midway through the film and said cut let's make another movie something like that to make this film better besides the cast being in here and charlie theron and charlie copley having some moments which actually made me laugh because charlie theron is like she has some of the best lines in this film. And that's not saying a lot, but she, when she says her lines, they're pretty damn funny. Again, this film was just a drag. It was depressing. It wasn't a fun comedy. And I've seen dark comedies when they can be fun and also tell a dramatic story. But at the same time, the drama outweighed the comedy way too much. And it just put you in the sour mood that once it finally got into the adventure, you're just like, I'm not interested. I'm just depressed. And this isn't a fun film. So with all that said, I'm going to give Gringo a D+. If it wasn't for Charlie Theron, Charlie Copley in here, I probably would have hands down given this movie enough and not liked the film at all. And I probably would have ended up walking out. Tell me guys, were you guys interested in Gringo at all? Did you guys see it? Were you having some laughs in here? Please, please comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are of Gringo. I'm curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Make sure to hit that like button too if you're new. And also hit that subscribe button so you guys never miss a video. I get tons of early movie reviews out. And that's all thanks to Sandwich on Films, which is the website I'm a part of. So go check us out down below. You guys might be able to get into some advanced screens and other movie news that you can check out on the website and like i said advanced movie screen so that means you guys can go to our website and maybe go see an early movie near you like ready player one pacific rim all sorts of films like that always if you guys want to talk more movies with me hit up all my social media links stardust instagram twitter those are the ones i mainly use and those are my most fun ones especially stardust because that's where you get my early previews and reactions to movies and usually twitter as well and that guys hope you guys have a great rest of your day look out for more reviews soon and of course stay classy <laughs>